What's going on guys? We are live with some Cold Sep 2 on the Dreamcast. This is a card battling game that I've been pretty addicted to lately. Uh, you guys probably saw my first look video, most likely. So you kind of get the idea. It's basically Monopoly mixed with card battling, like Magic the Gathering, things like that. It's very interesting, and I love it. It's, it's such a fun game. I've been playing a lot of it lately. And uh, I've gotten a decent amount through the storyline. Or the story mode. And uh, we're going to continue that here, although I probably won't play the latest level because I've been getting stomped all over by the CPU players on the current level that I'm on. So I'll probably start from the beginning and work my way up to that, and we'll give that one shot at the end of the stream and see if I can actually beat it. But I've attempted it probably about six or seven times by now. It's the first level where I have to actually play against more than one CPU player at once. So, uh, yeah, it makes things a lot more difficult. And they keep casting spells on me and preventing me from doing various things, slowing me down, poisoning my my creatures. It's crazy. They really stepped up their game. But uh, anyway, let's get right into this here. We want the top option here. There we go. Okay. So I, I pretty much know how to navigate my way around this game without using translations now. Occasionally I will try and translate new cards and things like that, although there is a nice website. Uh, I forget what it's called now. Let me actually check right now because I want to have it up anyway in case I want to check on the cards, but uh, yeah, coldceptcentral.com is a nice website that lists all the cards in English, so if I need to reference it to see what a card actually does, because the translation works somewhat, but not all that great. If I need to know exactly what a card does, I'm better off just looking it up on the website and uh, reading about it there. But uh, anyway, we're going to go back to level 1 here. And then we'll work our way up. Uh, hello to everyone in the chat, by the way. Kumis and uh, Bashirs? Z Bashirs? I believe that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> Hopefully I pronounced it correctly. And uh, Gyramoda? Or Grimoda? <laughs> Why does everyone have hard to pronounce names? Pick easy names. It's much easier. Anyway, let's go right into level one here. This is the one I actually played in the first look video I did. But uh, this time, I'm actually going to finish it. So if you've never played a cold sept game before, basically, like I said earlier, it's like Monopoly. You have a bunch of spaces, properties that you can take control of by putting a creature on it and they will guard it and if someone lands on that space they have an option of either paying the fee or they can fight you and try and take control of that property so that's the basic premise and in order to win you need to have a certain amount of money or mana for some reason money and mana are basically the same thing in this game it's kind of confusing at first but that amount, I believe, is the, the bottom number on the top left where it says JJ and uh, 250, 250. The 250 with the S next to it, that's the total amount of mana or gold or money or whatever you want to call it that I have. And I need to get over 6,000 in order to win. Once you have 6,000 and go past the castle, which is what I'm standing on right now, you win the game. So it's pretty simple. The number above that is the current amount of mana I have that I can spend. So the the number, the total number includes properties and things like that, not just the amount that you have in your hand. But anyway, with that explanation out of the way, which I'm going to use this card here. This card allows you to take a spell from an opponent, which she doesn't have any right now. So that card is not going to do me any good. But if she did have a spell card, I could destroy that card and destroy any other of the, that same card that's in her deck. So it's quite nice when they actually have a spell card. <laughs> the spell cards really don't come in play too much on the earlier levels. It's pretty simple. I have a feeling I'm going to annihilate her on this <laughs> because all my cards are upgraded now. I have a bunch of high-level cards that I didn't have when I started the game, and um, this is level one, so... Yeah, she'll probably get destroyed, but uh, anyway, 
I'm not gonna put that that card down. As you can see, the different properties have different um, land attributes, land types, I guess you could say. There's earth, air, fire, and water. And you want to try and put your creatures on land that matches their type. So as you can see, she's putting a fire creature on a fire lot. Which will make them more powerful. It'll up their stats. Okay, so normally when you land on a castle or one of these waypoints, you can upgrade your properties. But I don't have any, so I couldn't do anything there. You also get uh, gold or mana every time you pass. One of these, I, I'm not sure what the midpoints are called. They're like waypoints, I don't know. The little towers. Uh, normally you get mana when you pass them. Or land on them. And you also get mana for landing on or passing the castle as well. Alright, so now I'm going to put the uh, succubus here. On the air land. I always thought that was desert, because it looks like sand. But apparently that's air. Uh, I don't get this this particular part, but apparently I have to sacrifice a card in order to put down certain creatures. So in order to put the succubus down, I need to discard another card. I don't quite get that. I don't know all of the rules of the game yet. I, I've gotten the main gist of it. But there are certain things that I, I still don't understand. Hopefully I'll figure them out eventually. But I know enough to play through the game, which is cool. Okay, so sometimes it'll give you a choice of which direction you want to go. So in this case, I want to see what cards I have. Uh, which I can do right here. There we go. So I have a forest creature that I can put down and also a water creature, but my forest one is better. So I'm going to go to the right. Put him down. Just putting a little squirrel next to my golem. I think it's a golem. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what it was called. Oh, my new card. I actually just got that card after losing another round on the latest level. You, you still get cards even if you lose, if, as long as you complete the round. So I just got this card, which is apparently rare. I think the S in the top right corner of the card means it's super rare. Pretty sure that's what it means. I couldn't find any place that said what those symbols mean as far as rarity is concerned. I know the, the symbol at the top right designates how rare it is. There's an S, there's an N, there's an R, and one other. I believe the S is super rare. I could be wrong. Anyway, we're gonna roll here. Aim for the castle. Oh, cool. On the water, so I can put this guy down. So, that particular creature is interesting because by default, he can't attack. Or he has no attack power. He'll do no damage. But, he'll you'll get additional attack power depending on how many other lots you own. So for every other lot that you own, you get 10 attack power, I believe. Which is interesting. But he does have a lot of health, though, which is good. He's a good defensive creature. He has, uh, I believe, 40 HP. Okay, so I can do some upgrades now. Um... Do, do. What's my most powerful creature? The succubus is pretty good, 40-40. So they have uh, SD and HP, which is strength and, and obviously health. And they also have MHP, which I believe is the maximum HP they can have, which means if I heal them or enhance them in some way, or if you upgrade the lot, you can uh, increase the amount of HP. I'm, I'm not 100% certain on the MHP yet. I think that's what it is. It's maximum HP. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this guy, because I have, I have two other lots, he does 20 attack power at the moment, but he's my best defensive creature, so... So if you're, you're gonna put a, a creature down on a lot, you should look at the HP more than the ST, because obviously you're trying to defend the lot. 
You don't necessarily have to kill the creature that's trying to attack you, you just have to survive. As long as you survive, the, uh, the enemy has to pay the fee. So, we're gonna upgrade this guy. Let's go to level 2. Or level 3, actually. So, as you can see, the, the number below him went up. So, that's the fee that the enemy has to pay. So, they have to pay 160 mana if they land on that square. As long as they don't battle me and win, of course. Okay, which way do I want to go here? Let me check my cards. Uh, all I have, I have an air creature and I have a water. So I want to go this way. Alright, put my Pegasus down. So Pegasus will attack first. That's one of the benefits of the Pegasus. I'm not sure, I forget what other benefit they had. Wind of hope. It's, a, it's a decent creature. But uh, they do attack first, which is good, because obviously if the enemy tries to attack you with a, a creature that doesn't have much health, You've got a they will die quickly. Good luck to your next journey. Because normally when you land on a square, you will attack first. Unless a creature like, say, the Pegasus has a special ability to attack first. Okay. I don't think I want to put my water creature on fire. So I'm going to uh, not do that. So if you land on one of your squares, you get the opportunity to upgrade them as well. You can also move your creature, and for a fee, you can change the land type. Which is pretty cool as well. I like that they give you that option. Uh, I need to discard. So I have a lot of extra item cards. The item cards you can use in battle to either increase your strength or increase your defense or HP. The boomerang is cool because you can use it as many times as you want. It'll keep coming back to your hand. It doesn't increase strength all that much. It does 20 strength and 10 HP, so it kind of does a variety there. But what's cool about it is it comes back to your hand, so I like that. Uh, this is a shield. I'm not sure how this works, but for certain... Um, for certain attacks, it will completely block them. But it doesn't always work. There's a, there's a caveat to it. But I'm not sure what that is. Okay, we're gonna put the amoeba down here. That's a healing card right there. I'm not sure what that dwarf is. It's eating a fish. <laughs> oh, come on! She cast a spell on me. She reduced my HP and ST. I gotta say, the computer players are actually pretty smart in this game. Uh, I'm not gonna use him yet, because I want to put him on the proper land type. Hey, what's going on, Hunter? And Poopy Doop. And V Gamer. I'm missing all the chat here. Uh, oh, man. So you can only hold seven cards at once. So. If you have too many cards, you gotta discard at the beginning of your turn. Which I don't like doing, but sometimes you gotta do what you don't wanna do. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the boomerang as much as I don't want to. I like that it comes back to my hand, but... Alright, I'm gonna use the... the mana card. Mana card will give you a certain amount of mana depending on how many times you've gone around the board. Every time you go around the board, it would be an extra 50. So, yeah, it's it's 50 times the amount of times you've gone around the board. So I got 100 since I've gone around twice. Uh, do I want to put him here? You know what? I'll put him here. I can always change the land type. Oh, I need to discard. Okay, fine. Fine game. <laughs> As I said, it's only certain creatures that 
that make you discard another card in order to place them. This game is very detailed. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot going on. Aim for the castle. At its core, it's a pretty simple and easy to understand game. Of course, now I land on the, the forest square. Fine. <laughs> Put down this guy. But yeah, as I was saying, it's a very simple to understand game. At least the basics of it. But it gets pretty intricate. Alright, I'm gonna use this. This uh, allows me to destroy one of the opponent's cards. Or one of their item cards, I should say. So I can either get rid of their mana spell, or one of these. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the mana spell. No mana for you. You've got a reward. I've got a reward. Four hundred and fifteen gold. Um, I'm not sure how it calculates that. Because every time you pass the castle, you get a certain amount of gold or mana. I, I'll use those those terms interchangeably. <laughs> but it, it calculates up a, as you can see, it totals up a bunch of stuff in order to get to the total. The amount of mana that it gives you. I'll have to actually translate that at some point. Okay, which way do I want to go here? I don't think I have any creature cards. So it might not matter. No. I only have item cards. So I will go that way. I like the music in this game too. It's very pleasant. Aim for the castle. Oh nice! She landed on my square. She j she's just gonna pay? Yep. <laughs> she had no chance. Didn't even want to attempt battling me. Ooh, I'm gonna use this. This is a spell card that allows me to damage a creature by 20 HP. So let me check. 30, 30, any I can just kill? Yeah, I can kill her squirrel. <laughs> Die, squirrel! Have this game worked out? No need for Gulligan's help now. I have it mostly figured out. Discard your card. I've been quite addicted to the game, so You've got a reward. it's pretty easy to figure out. Good luck to your like I said, initially you do have to translate some stuff, but once you know the menus, you can navigate them pretty easily. And as I said, there's that nice website, coldceptcentral.com. Not a sponsor. <laughs> they have a whole bunch of guides and, uh, and things like that to help you out. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade my Pegasus. Do I want to spend... Well, I can, I can spare it. 700? I have 943. Nice. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna have to pay up. She lands on that square. Silence. Oh, she's using silence on me. Shoot. So silence is a spell card that prevents you from really doing anything. You can't attack, defend, cast spells. You can move. That's about all you can do. It's only for a certain number of turns, obviously. It's not forever. Or else she would win. I say I can't do anything. Fighter, giant amoeba. Just trying to take on my amoeba. Uh, okay, the amoeba cannot. Oh no! Wait. <laughs> yeah, that's right too. And see, I can defend myself, but I can't add any armor. I forget if it... No, the amoeba can't wear armor. That's right. I mean, it makes sense. They're just a slime creature. <laughs> armor wouldn't really fit very well. But I'm not sure if it's... It, if it's the silence that's preventing me from doing that. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, well. 
That wasn't my greatest property anyway. You can have it. All I have are item cards. I need to get some creatures at some point. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, although... Okay, I have plenty of armor, so I'm gonna get rid of that. My weakest armor. Uh, which way do I want to go? Uh, I guess this way. Put down my skeleton here. Wind of hope. I'm not sure what that card does. It's wind of hope. Whatever that means. Could actually look it up. Takes a while to actually find the card though. You gotta scroll through all of them on the website, so I'm not gonna look it up right now. Need to pay attention. I need to win. Okay, let's see. What can we get rid of? Uh, not sure what that card is. I think I will get rid of that. You don't need that. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, cool. I can do some upgrades. Pegasus, I probably cannot afford to upgrade. I want to upgrade a variety anyway. You shouldn't focus all of your mana on upgrading one lot. Because anything could happen to it. You could waste your money. Alright, what's my best creature? 40, 40, 40. Um, 40, 30, 30. 40, 30, 30. Okay, so probably... Oh, she's pretty good. Both about the same, but... Let me do this one. Alright, we're going into a battle. Ooh! <laughs> I have this guy. He, de he has 70 strength. She's gonna get annihilated. I have to get rid of something. Alright, I will get rid of that. Executor. Cool. The Executor. <laughs> I love his name too. Such a cool looking card. She only has 30 HP. There's no way she can win. Oh, I can't use a uh, sword with him anyway. He has so much strength. See, he doesn't have much HP, though, but it uh, doesn't really matter. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. Nice. Definitely need to upgrade him, because he's pretty weak. He's not a good defensive card. Oh, she's got silence again. Okay, uh, I don't have any creature cards, so it really doesn't matter which way I go. Although I can go this way and do some upgrading, although I don't really have much health. Or health, yeah. I don't have much mana. So, yeah. I guess I'll go this way, whatever. I mean, I can do one upgrade. I'm completely out of mana now, though. Usually don't like to do that. Because it actually it costs mana to attack. So if I land on a one of her squares, I won't be able to attack if I have no mana. Uh let's see. She landed on my square and I guess I'll use one of my armors. Holy crap, she's got 70 strength. Wow! I, I've never gone up against that card before. Some sort of living tree. 
but it looked like she used another card, another creature card, in addition to him. Which is interesting. It's like they teamed up on me. I've never seen that before. Okay, well. You don't have enough magic oh, shoot. Oh. Okay, I'll get rid of him. He's on the wrong space anyway. Okay, off to a bit of a rough start here. Oh, silence. Really? Just rub it in, why don't you? Kick a man while he's down. Good luck to your next journey. I know I said I was going to wipe the floor with her, but... <laughs> so far, that's not the case. She's going to land on one of my squares. There we go. She landed on him again. <laughs> she doesn't even try. He's probably got so much HP now. Um... Okay. Discard him. Okay. What did I have again? I don't have any forest cards. I guess I'll do it this way. Uh, this little tent thing allows you to select a card. So actually, I, I clicked it too quickly, but... Uh, you can have an option of getting a random creature card, a random item card, or a random spell card. I clicked on creature. That was the top option there. having to discard. Um, see, the cards with the gray border around them mean they're neutral. They can go on any land and they won't have any positive or negative effects. Uh, they're, they're good placeholders because you can actually swap the creature later on. So you can just put him on a square until you have a, a creature that's fitted for that particular lot and then swap them out. So they're good to have the neutral cards. They just can't be powered up as well as the the proper cards. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of this one, I guess. Aim for the castle. All right, we will put him there. And what's cool is if you swap out a creature on a lot, you can keep the upgrades that you've that you've built up. So if you've already upgraded that lot to, say, level 2, level 3, level 4, whatever, when you swap out the creature, they'll still be at that level. So you don't have to do the upgrades all over again. Ooh, nice. Put him down. Uh, okay, requires a card sacrifice here. Um, this, I guess. I'd rather get rid of the offensive cards, the offensive item cards. Because uh, defense is what I want to concentrate on most. Because if she lands on my square, I want to defend my square and get my monies. Okay, we'll use the mana card. Actually, I'm about to go past the castle, so I'll wait. There we go. You've got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Okay, uh, where do I want to go? Desert Square would be good. Called the desert again. It's air, not desert. I guess they didn't want to make... See, technically, I guess air would be blue. I mean, when you think of air, you think of the sky and it's blue, and blue's already water, so... So they decided to go with yellow for some reason. I mean, they could have made it a different type of blue. I don't know. I'm gonna use this. Mana. Two hundred gold. Nice. I'm actually not sure what G stands for. I always say gold because it makes sense. It it is a currency and it says G next to it, so naturally you think gold. But it's supposed to be mana. 
but mana starts with an M. So, I don't know what it's supposed to stand for, I just say gold. Okay, we're gonna do an upgrade here. Let's, let's max it out. Well, not quite maxed out. I think I can upgrade that lot one more time. Discard your card. I hope she lands on that. That'd be nice. Got a healing card. Doesn't really do me any good right now. None of my creatures are actually damaged at this point. Uh, I probably can't afford to upgrade. No. So, so if your creature is attacked and they stay alive, or they survive the battle, I should say, uh, their HP will stay where it where it was at the end of the battle. So, if the enemy took away 20 HP. Then, uh, yeah, they'll stay at negative 20 HP. And you can use a healing card to heal them if you want. Aim for the next fort. Ooh, I can use my dragon. This is probably one of my, my best cards. Phoenix. She won't stand a chance. At least I don't think she will. I'm gonna use my sword too. So, she's got 50, but her her card hasn't... Oh, okay, never mind. She didn't use a card. Didn't stand a chance. I now have a dragon property. <laughs> oh, I like it. I'd say the dragon is probably the most powerful creature in the game so far, anyway. I have encountered one that seems like it might be more powerful. It's a... It's a mosquito in amber. And when you battle it, it turns into a dinosaur. And it does a massive amount of damage. I think about 60 HP of damage. Which is pretty crazy. But I don't have that card yet. Unfortunately. Okay, so I can battle this guy here. I guess I will use my Griffin. Griffin. Tiger Beetle. I don't know if I can win though. I don't have any I don't have any offensive item cards. She is using Oh no, I'm gonna win. Oh shoot! I don't know what deducted my strength. I had a, f I had 50 strength, but something happened and I lost 10. Or else I would have won. Well, that sucks. Aim for the castle. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win anyway. Cause she's only got 2,700 mana, and I have 5,600, almost 5,700. One more round around the board, and I should be good. Okay, um, I can go either way and do an upgrade. Let's go this way. See, I can actually upgrade a different square if I want to. Actually, I'd rather upgrade him. So, I'm gonna do that. Ooh, she landed on that square. Oh, shoot. Executor. The Executor does not have much health. I do have some armor, though. Um, which one's better? It would be this one here, 40. I will use that. So she's gonna do 40 damage. And I have 70 health, so that works. She's dead. <laughs> nice. Unfortunately, that lot doesn't really give me much, but I'll take it. I'll take the win. Oh, I am now over 6,000. Put a property down here. 
So I just have to pass the castle and I win. Good luck to your next journey. You already lost, lady. Just give up now. Wave the flag. Save us some time. Oh shoot. One. Go figure. Okay. Forty. Do 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 do. I will use my griffin. Griffin. Fighter. I don't think I have any offensive cards, no. So the griffin is on its own. No enhancements. Nope. Didn't work. I tried. No big deal. Oh jeez, I don't have enough mana. <laughs> Fine, I'll just sell that guy. No biggie. So those cards there, uh, Holy Word cards, I believe they're called, they make you roll a certain, a certain number. So you can use those on yourself or on a, or on another player. So they'll make you roll like, like her, she had to roll a six. There are other cards that uh, make you roll a zero or a one, and in those cases you probably want to give them to one of your opponents. You've got a reward. And that should do it. You are the winner of I am the winner. Nice. The true winner is determined. The true winner is determined. Yes, indeed. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't quite wipe the floor with her, but... Well, I mean, she didn't really have much. She only had half the mana that I had. But I expected the game to go quicker, actually. So, you know, she put up a fight. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of new cards here. So even if you go back to the earlier levels, there is still a benefit to playing them and beating them. Or even just losing at them, because you do get cards. So what do we got here? We got this one here. Actually, let me uh, get out my handy translation tool here. And I will figure out what these cards are. Or at least vaguely what they are. <laughs> Let's see. This is a green mold creature. Okay. So not much to it. Strength of 10. It's got quite a bit of HP. It's not a rare card. It's just a N neutral, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> neutral rarity rating. Um, this is a... S oh, it's an item card. I thought it was a spell card. Scroll attack. Strength of 30. It's called freeze. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Oh, that's a nice looking item card. Ooh, nice! I like that. It's a ball mace. With a... Adds 30 strength and 10 HP. Morning Star. I'm gonna add that to my inventory. I like that. What is this one? Soul Hunt. Target creature is destroyed when the user's when the user reaches MHP 10. I, I don't know. <laughs> See, the the description is doesn't translate all that well. I mean, I can get the the basic gist of it as far as the name of the card and its stats, but the description is usually kind of garbled nonsense. So, that's some sort of spell card that destroys a creature. Which would be cool if it just destroyed a creature, but I'm sure there's a catch to it. This is a spell card. Looks like some sort of torture chamber. <laughs> Torturer. Makes sense. Uh, every lounge... Every lounge to reach the castle. Obsolete of the hand ease. Number of bill cards. Lose 20 magic. Okay. I don't know what that means. Uh, we got this one here. 
Strength plus 10. Rainfoot? Rainforth. I don't know. Just says strength plus 10 spell card. Uh, this one here. Ruin. User and target enemy scepters. Spell card in hand destroy. Okay, it destroys a spell card that is in your opponent's hand, I guess. A lot of spell and item cards. Land transformer. Oh. Target territory. Okay, yeah, okay. So this basically allows you to change the type of territory say, from water to forest, or from, you know, fire to forest, or whatever you want to do, for free. Or not for free, for 20 gold, I guess. Which is quite the bargain, because it usually costs, I think, 300 gold? Or 300 mana? Gold, mana, whatever. <laughs> to, uh, to do that to a land, or to a space. So that's a pretty good card. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Mesmerize? Hand of the enemy scepter, blah blah blah, mesmerize, select one sub card and use. Don't know what that does. Uh, this is just a, a dice card, holy word, 10. Okay, so I'll spin a 10 if I use that card. And this one, drought. Oh, I know what drought does. I hate this card, at least when it's used against me anyway. So this card basically you cast it on an enemy territory, and it will prevent them from upgrading it. Which is actually quite nice. So I think I will add that, and I will add the the Morning Star here to my to my deck. So let's go do that. Let me save first. Okay. Open up my deck here. You can make multiple decks if you want to. I just have one. I'm sure if you wanted to be a lot more strategic, you could have specific decks for specific situations. But I'm not that into the game yet. So, we need to remove some cards. You have a max of 50 cards that you can have. So, I need to remove some in order to get some. So I'm going to add the, the Morning Star Mace, and do do do, what was the other one? Oh, this one right here. The Territory Upgrade chart, uh, card, or not upgrade, but Territory transform Transformation card. I don't know, I don't know what the name of it is, but that thing right there. All right, and we need to remove a couple cards. So since I added a weapon, maybe I'll remove one that's not as good as this one. So that does 30 and 10 HP. This does just 30, so we'll remove that, and then we'll have that instead. And we need to remove one more. Do do do. Get rid of the amoeba. Not a big fan of the amoeba. It's okay. Although, I don't have many water cards. So I probably shouldn't do that. Let me leave that one. What else can I get rid of? Something that's not that great. Eh, he's pretty good. He, he poisons enemies as well. So I want to keep him. Come on, there's gonna be something in here that's not that good. I have a pretty good deck, I think. Hmm. Alright, I'll get rid of one of these. Destroying an enemy's cards is cool and all, but it's not necessarily that handy all, all the time. So, we'll go with that. Alright, let me just save real quick here. And then we'll move on to the second battle. Wait, I'm kind of turned around here. Yeah, that was that was the first one. 
It's the second one. Actually, we can go to the third one. Because I'm not going to do them all anyway, so... We should go to the third one. We'll skip ahead. Because why not? Okay, we got a werewolf. Werewolf is pretty cool. I haven't really used him so far. I added him to my deck quite a while ago, but basically what he does when he attacks, he actually turns your opponent into a werewolf as well. I believe that that's what he does, if I remember right. But I've never actually used him. I've put him on a square before, but he never actually got into a battle, so. So I have a Pegasus I can put down. So I will go to the left. Perfect. Aim for the next oh, you know what I didn't add to my hand? I wanted the drought card. Yeah, I added the, the territory transformation card. I didn't want that one. I wanted the drought card. Oh well. I'll do that after this game here. Put the werewolf here. I'm gonna save my mana card and wait until I go around at least once. Okay, this is not the ideal spot for this guy, but put him here anyway. Maybe I'll get my transformation card. That would be nice. Uh, let's see, what do I have for cards? I have a desert, or... I keep saying desert, it's gonna take me a while to, to uh, actually get it into my head that that's an air card, not a desert card. But I, uh, yeah, that's all I have. I have an air card, and I don't think I can actually... Oh, maybe I can. Go this way. Oh, nope. I end up on water anyway. I don't want to put him down. I'll wait. <laughs> Got the Executor. Nice. Do not want to put him there. Discard your card. Discard your card. Of course, now I get a water card. <laughs> um... Let's see. Get rid of that. Aim for the castle. Ooh. Perfect opportunity to use my executor. I wanna get rid of that. See, I wanna keep the water card, but at the same time he's not all that powerful. I'm gonna get rid of this. Keeping my water card. Executor. Manus. Okay, so yeah, he's got no chance. He's got 40 HP. The max he could possibly add is 30, probably. Oh. But I didn't calculate in the fact that he's on a territory that's gonna up his HP. Shoot. No! Not my executor. Shoots. Fine. Oh, great. <laughs> um, twenty. It's not worth it. I'm just going to pay it. You have to make smart decisions on whether you actually want to get into a battle. 
Because obviously there's a chance of losing your card in addition to paying the, the toll. If you actually do the do the battle and lose. Plus, for a lot of the battles, you need to use an item card if you expect to win. Because normally they're going to use an item card, most likely a defensive card to increase their HP. And so you need to counter with some sort of offensive card. And uh, you'll waste your card if you don't win. And the item cards, you need to use sparingly. Alright, let's do some upgrading. Definitely want to upgrade my Pegasus. Yeah, gonna go with that. You can only upgrade one property at a time, so... You need to make sure you choose wisely. Um, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. Alright, we'll put a skeleton down here. Uh, I do have a water card, so I will go this way. I'm gonna put down this guy. See, because the amoeba can't use... Oh, wait, he can't use armor either. Yeah, I mean, he does look like he's made of water, so again, armor's probably not going to fit very well, so it makes sense. So, yeah, it really doesn't matter which one I put down, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with him. Let's put another one down. Sweet. So, similar to Monopoly, if you own multiple properties adjacent to each other, they'll the fee will actually go up. Or the fee or the toll that the enemy has to pay. But I think it's only creatures of the same type, though. They have to be matching the land. So if you have, you know, three water creatures in a row, or three fire creatures in a row. Things like that. Um, Alright, I'm just defending at this point, so I don't care if I kill him. I don't have any, uh, any cards to increase my defense anyway. I'm gonna lose. Shoot. Oh well. Not a big deal. Um, did I go around once since I said I was gonna wait and use that after I had gone around? I'm not sure. I'll I'll go around one more time. Aim for the castle. I'll put him down. He's neutral. Aim for the Oh no, that's not good. 230. Shoot. He's only got 20 health though, but he's upgraded quite a bit. Um, I can do 40 with him. I also have a sword. So, I'm gonna use my monkey. And I'll use the sword with him. Anyway, I should be able to win, I think. We'll see what happens. That's a nice sword, too. So he's got 50 right off the bat. Oh yeah, he's going down. Unless he attacks first. Which would be a problem. He did. Oh, come on! Of course he had to be one of the creatures that gets first attack. Man! Alright, I'm gonna go around and sell some stuff. Well, that guy definitely do not want to sell my Pegasus. 
Skeleton. Um, I guess I'll go with the skeleton. You've got a reward. It's not going so well. Good luck for your next journey. But hopefully things will turn around. Goblin. We keeps landing on my squares that I haven't upgraded. I can't do anything. I don't have any item cards, so is what it is. He's probably gonna kill me. Yep. The offense defeated the enemy. Alright. Let's go. I'm gonna land on a square again. Every time! Come on, I need a break here. It's only 32 though. I'm just gonna pay it. Aim for the next port. Ooh, I have two of those now. Okay, I'm gonna use one of them. Mana. 150? Nice. Aim for the next port. Uh, where do I want to go? Definitely to the left. We're gonna put down this guy. I think he's a troll. Yeah, he's not a golem, he's a troll. Okay, we're gonna use this again. Okay, if I go that way, I'm gonna land on him. Which I don't wanna do, so I'm gonna go this way. Uh, I guess I can put him down. Oh, but I have to sacrifice a card if I put him down. All right, fine, I'll sacrifice this. Normally, you're not going to use the healing card that much. Typically, one of the creatures is going to die. <laughs> so, if you get into a battle. Uh, let me use this. Suppression. Not on myself. <laughs> use it on him. Uh, he doesn't have any spell cards. Okay. Never mind then. I think I'm losing so far. He's got 3,300. I've got 1,300. Jeez. It's not going well so far. No, I didn't want to go that way, I wanted to go the other way. Shoot. Oh, uh, I can do 50 damage, but... It's only 32, I'm gonna pay it. I know it adds up, but... <laughs> Just not worth going into battle sometimes. When you know you're gonna lose, there's no point. Good luck for your next journey. Ooh, got that guy. Nice. I have a lot of properties, too. So that's a pretty good card to have. Okay, let me upgrade. Where is he headed to? Ah, uh, he could land on the Pegasus, but I want to have a variety of properties here, so we're going to go with the troll. Oh no! No! Out of all of the properties I could have landed on, it had to be that one. 768. Shoot. Oh, he is damaged, but... 
All right, I'll give it a shot, but I don't think I'm gonna win. I'll add some armor. Nope, ain't gonna happen. I didn't die, but I have to pay the toll now. You don't have enough magic. Now I gotta sell a bunch of properties. Nice. 480. Um, 320. Man, I don't want to sell any of them. <laughs> 80. All right, I'm gonna sell my Pegasus as much as I don't want to. I still need 262. Get rid of the zombie. Need 142 more. Man, I'm gonna have to sell two of them regardless. And this guy. Great. He is almost to 6,000 already. Aim for the next fort. Is there an NTSC version of this game? This is an NTSC version. <laughs> NTSCJ. <laughs> if you mean a US version, no. Al although, it, it came out on the PlayStation 2 in English, but... Not on the Dreamcast. And I landed on another square. This sucks. <laughs> Could I have any worse luck? What am I? Negative 198. This is ridiculous. I only have the two properties. I have to sell both of them. Well, not both of them. Just this one. My only good property. I'm not sure what that lot does. I guess some random thing, because it added five strength to something for him. You've got a reward. There's pretty much no way I'm going to win this now. I think he's already over 6,000. So, <laughs> I don't know. It might be kind of pointless continuing at this point, but, well, I'm going to get some cards at the end anyway. Pretty sure all he needs to do is cross over the finish line, and that'll be that. That's fine, I already beat him anyway. <laughs> I'm playing this again just for kicks. Upgrading your properties. You already won. <laughs> Just get it over with. Aim for the next port. Might as well upgrade. <laughs> And he won. <laughs> you have the dump of the game, you can extract it and translate it fairly easily, providing you know Japanese. Fairly easily? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I have tried translating games before. N easy is definitely not a word I'd use to describe it. You need to know your way around the files. But if you do know what you're doing, you might be able to get a translation from the PS2 version of the game. Just somehow copy, I mean, obviously way oversimplifying it, but copy the text from the PS2 version over to the Dreamcast version. 
not nearly that simple, but... Well, we got some cards. I already have a zombie card, so... Ooh! Ooh, I've been wanting this guy. This is a bandit. So the bandit, even if you lose a battle, as long as you don't die, if you lose a battle, you'll steal mana from your opponent, which is really cool. And if he's defending a property, you'll also steal uh, mana from your opponent as well. So I'm definitely going to add him to my deck. Some sort of another dragon. It's a mini dragon. He's pretty good stats though. 40-40. Not bad. I might replace someone with him. Definitely want the bandit though. It's a sword. Ooh, strength plus 50. Ooh, I want that. Want that for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna add a few new cards to my deck here. Alright, let's do some deck management. After playing this game for quite a while, I'm not sure it's really worth going through all the trouble of translating it anyway. Because as I said, once you play, th play it a few times, you kind of get used to it. I mean, I'm breezing through the menus, as you can see, and I know no Japanese whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, once you've played through it a few times, it's pretty easy to navigate through. And again, you have the website you can consult for the cards and get the English descriptions for them. Uh, let's see, so I wanted the bandit, got the bandit. I should just go to the new cards. There. <laughs> it's easier to view your cards, or the new cards, if you go to the new section. Uh, I do like this dragon, so I'm gonna do that. There we go. Sword. Okay, yeah, so those three. Bandit, dragon, sword. So I want to replace one of my air cards with the dragon. Dragon has 40, 40, 40, so... Anything that's below that, I'll replace it. Probably this guy. Actually, I, no, I don't have any of him anyway. Uh, 40, 50. Okay, I'll replace one of these guys. And I picked up a sword, so the sword does 50. We'll get rid of the... Whatever gives me the least amount, probably this one. And we have a bandit. Uh, what type is a bandit? Bandit is neutral. So I'm trying to keep a variety of each different type of card. Don't want to have too many of one type. So, so if I get a new of a certain type card, I'll replace one of my existing of that type. Although I don't have many neutral cards. Um, see, the bandit's stats aren't that great, but I like the fact that he steals mana from your opponent. So I guess I'll re replace a skeleton. Okay, that'll do. Oh, and I wanted the... the drought card as well. Where's that one? Right here. I will take that, and I will replace this one here. This allows you to roll double dice. Which is, I mean, it's cool, I guess, but... I'd rather have the drought card. Sweet. Alright, let's save that. Okay, so we'll move on. Which I can't play this one for some reason. I don't know why. So we'll go back. 
Actually, you know what? No, we'll go to the latest one. I said I was gonna try that. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. At least I can get some revenge on the CPU players now that I have a, a drought card, because they keep using it on me. <laughs> so annoying. Because it's kind of pointless having a lot that you can't upgrade, especially when it's on level 1. So it just becomes a useless lot. Oh, well, look at this. A couple of these right away, got the mana card. Um, do have any creature cards? I have no creature cards. So it really doesn't matter which way I go. So I'm gonna go this way. Of course he's going to use it on me. This is what happens this entire round. These two just keep casting spells on me. Drain my mana. Drought my property. Poison my creatures. It's just constant. Absolutely ridiculous. It's like they gang up on me. I don't know what this corner square is. It says, make an offering to my god. I, you can give mana to one of these things, but I don't know what the point is. These are different terrain types, so you have the, the fire, water, forest, and, and wind. And you can give to one of them, which I assume they're the gods of those particular elements. So, fire god, water god, forest god, wind god. So yeah, you can you can donate to them <laughs> for some reason. I need to figure that out because the CPU players will do that. Aim for the next so obviously they see a benefit to doing that. Discard already. Oh, I got my good sword right, about, right off the bat. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna use one of these. Magic bolt. The magic bolt. There's only one property I can use it on, so... There we go. Brings his HP down to 30. Put my werewolf here. Don't have much of a choice. I only have one creature card. Aim for the next port. Aim for the next port. And all I'm getting are item cards. Alright, I'm gonna use this again. Magic bolt. She doesn't have any properties yet, so. So I'll hit the tornado again. Should be easy to defeat if I land on it. It's only got 10 HP now. Not that it's really even worth battling. <laughs> Disease. Disease, okay. I knew she was gonna use it on me, I mean... Gonna... <laughs> use it on me or the, uh... The tornado which is dying. You've 
got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. I do not want to put the amoeba on a fire lot. <laughs> no, thank you. Make an offering. I'm not sure what would happen. I know some creatures, if you put them on the wrong... The wrong lot type, they'll just die. <laughs> Which, I would assume you put a water creature on a fire lot, it's not going to turn out very well, but... So yeah, I'm not going to risk that. Uh, let me use my mana card. Let's put a water creature on a water lot. That's much better. Oh, I hate that thing. Don't use it on me. Oh, she's gonna use it on me. That's a haunt card. It basically makes a CPU player take control of you. Which is so annoying. Fortunately, it is a fairly smart CPU player. So they're not gonna just make bad decisions for you. But it's still annoying because you have no control over what they do. And uh, they take over your character for three turns, I think. Three or two or three. Aim for the next fort. So yeah, this is not me doing this. Okay, that's not too bad. Put down a neutral card on a fire space, that's fine. Okay, we're battling. I still have no control. This is all the CPU player. I think he used my... My mace. He's dead. <laughs> Man. The offense defeated the enemy. You've got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Aim for the next fort. You'd think it would be a little bit easier playing against multiple CPU players, because then they can attack each other instead of you, but... Like I said, more often than not, it seems like they're just ganging up on me. Yeah, see, that's what the bandit does. The bandit will not only defeat you, but he will rob you as well. Which is very annoying when you're the one that gets defeated and robbed, but... Now that I have a bandit card, maybe it'll come in handy. Another source of income. Oh no, don't get rid of my good sword. Oh, why did you do that? You stupid CPU player. Okay, see so yeah, how this goes. Oh, I'm still out of control here. I'm dead. The defeated the enemy. Yeah, this is going well. It's going really well. <laughs> Just like my last six playthroughs of this level. I would be very happy if they had an option to turn off spell cards. I would gladly give up using spell cards. They're so annoying to be used against you. Um, skeleton, I guess. You've got a reward. I wonder if they actually give you that option in multiplayer. I don't know if this game has... I think it does have local multiplayer. It is online and local. And I wonder if they give you an option to turn off certain types of cards. It would be quite cool if you could actually do that. Like turn off spell cards, turn off item cards. I don't know if they let you do that, but that would be nice. Okay, um, this guy is poisoned. So I don't know. Actually, you know what? I want to try swapping him out. Actually, I want to swap him out for this guy, because he's much better. 
Uh, but I have to sacrifice a card for him. Uh, I guess this one. I'm curious. Hey, what happened? It didn't work. Was it because he was diseased? It wouldn't let me swap him out? Oh no, it did work. Never mind. For some reason it didn't show the animation. Okay. Yeah, so he's not diseased. See, I've never done that before. I always assumed that if I swapped out the creature on a lot, that the adverse effects that were... that affected that creature would not carry over to the creature you, squ you swapped them for. And it looks like I'm right. Now, that guy just used a, a slow spell on me, so... I'm only going to be able to roll a 1 or a 2 or a 3. Hey, I got a 3. Um, guess I'll use my armor. I hate to waste it because even if I win this battle, I'm not going to get that much. Like 20 or something like that. Yeah, I killed her. Nice. Oh, his health regenerated. That's cool. I didn't know the skeleton did that. Sweet. So I got, I got 20 mana out of that. I don't even know why she decided to battle me for that. Seriously, just pay it. <laughs> it's not worth it. So, can you rob a hurricane? Is that a thing that you can do? <laughs> I don't think the hurricane would appreciate that. He actually didn't rob him. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you can't rob a hurricane. <laughs> uh, what was that one again? Um. I forget what this card does now. Oh, it's the one that transforms the property. Okay, so I don't want to use... Actually, can I select the property I want to use that on? Or do I have to use it on the one I'm standing on? I guess I'll figure it out. Okay, I can select it. See, that's the thing. I don't want to use it, actually. Because <laughs> all my creatures are currently on lots that match their attributes. Okay. So I'll wait and use that later. Put my monkey down here. Oh, don't use the drought card on me. Don't do it. She did. Used it on me. Always. Make an offering to your God. What do you have against me, CPU player? You've got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Put down my werewolf there, that's fine. Holy word one. Well, at least she didn't use two spells in a row on me. Which they've been known to do. Bandit. This guy really likes to use bandit cards. I'm pretty sure he's got at least three of them. Wow, he did a lot of damage. Wait a second. Look at that, he used another creature card. So, there is a way that you can use two creature cards in a battle and have them team up. That's interesting. I never knew you could do that. I could have figured that out. Uh, I don't want to put him... Oh, actually, maybe I do. So I can always change the, the lot type. 
I have the card to do that. Aim for the castle. Aim for the next fort. So he's moving him. Because yeah, the bandit would be a forest card, I believe. Alright, I'm gonna use this. Land transfer. Land transfer. Um. What did that do? That did not do what I thought it would do. <laughs> what the heck happens? I don't know what that card does. I thought it transformed the land into that creature's element type. Okay, apparently I was wrong. I have no idea what that did. But I lost my... whatever he was. You've got a reward. Good Gotta look up that card in English. See what it actually does. So let me see if I can... Uh, Look that up right now while I'm waiting for these guys to do their turn. Let's see. Well, gonna be my turn here. You've got a reward. I am gonna run right into that bandit. Wonderful. Alright, he's just a regular level though, so... I should be able to take him out, no problem. I'm going to use the boomerang. Yep, he stands no chance whatsoever. Nice. Victory is mine. Alright, I gotta figure out what that spell card does. All spells. I don't know what rarity it is. It does sort them on the website by rarity, but I don't know what the rarity of that card is, so... Let's look at all the spell cards. See if I can find it. Gotta be in here somewhere. Alright, back to my turn here. Aim for the next port. I have nothing to put down there, so... Whatever. Aim for the next port. Make an offering to your god. Discard your card. Okay, I must have scrolled past it. <laughs> I scrolled through all, all the cards. Did not find it. Aim for the next port. All right, we're battling. Uh, what's he got for health? Forty. Okay, I can take him. It's not a problem. Of course, I have to discard. Of course. I'm going to use that. HP plus 20, we'll get rid of that. Google. Wolf. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the sword. I wanna make sure I win this. Ooh, just barely. Oh wait, 105! Holy crap! <laughs> wow, he did a lot of damage. A lot more than I thought he would. Yeah, I, there's something else to that sword as well. It, it's got some sort of magic attribute to it. But I'm not sure what that is. I know it does 
an extra 30 damage, but there's something else to it. So that something else may have contributed to the to the reason why I uh, did 105 damage. You've got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Aim for the next port. I'm still looking for that card. That transform card. Oh, there it is. Land transfer. Releases target territory from the user's control and reverts it to magic slash re recycles to the book. What? Why would I want to do that? Releases target territory from the user's control and reverts it to magic. Oh. Should I have used that on an enemy? <laughs> oh. Okay. So yeah, I probably should have used that on one of the CPU players and not myself. Got it. <laughs> yeah, so it basically neutralizes the territory. So it looks like the stream today is going to go over the normal time today. That's fine, we'll finish this up. Shouldn't take too much longer. Alright, do some upgrades here. I have quite a bit of mana. I'm going to upgrade that quite a bit. Nice. You know what, I forgot to turn on the stream bot for this. So you guys are not going to get any dream points for watching the stream. I will fix that now. You'll get them from now on, but... There we go. That's on now. Okay, we'll use that. Suppression. You do not have any spell cards, of course. So you, you can only look at the cards once to see if they have any spell cards and uh, use that on them, but if they don't have any, you just wasted the card. Um, I'm just gonna pay that. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Aim for the castle. Aim for the next port. Oh, he just paid me. I wasn't paying attention. Nice. Wait, did I have two of the- oh no, it recycled- What? That is the same card, right? Well, let me use it. Land transfer. Land transfer. Uh, so I can use this on anything, right? Use it on an upgraded property. Like this one. Oh no, I can't use it on that one. Oh, maybe you can't use it on upgraded properties? Other than your own? <laughs> uh, okay, so... Which one of these guys has the most health? 50-50. But he can't be upgraded? That lot has drought on it, so... 40-40 uh, for the troll. Uh, I'm gonna use it on... On her.
Yeah, so I guess that card goes back into your hand afterwards. Hello, Wesley. Um, okay. That is, uh, 20. I'm just gonna pay that. I don't care. I don't care enough to get into a battle. Good luck to your next journey. You've got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Okay. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. Oh, I should probably change the land type. Um, which is this one? At least I thought it was this one. I don't want to battle the the dinosaur over there. So, no thank you. Right here. This is the one I want. Change that to a forest. Forest space. Cool. Oh, don't use... You're gonna use that on me, aren't you? Oh, no. No, she used it on the other guy. I don't know what the point is of using a CPU player using it against a CPU player, or even me using it against a CPU player. Because you're... The card basically makes a CPU player take control of you. So if they're already a CPU player, I don't get what the point of it is, but... Hey, what's going on, James? PC playing a Japanese game without a mic. Yeah, no, no mic involved with this game. Uh, a healing card. I don't think I need that right now. Pretty sure all of my... My creatures are at full health at the moment. Uh, I guess I'll put a water creature down, because it don't really matter. I need to get rid of a card next turn anyway. First game did eventually come to America, but on the PS2. Not the first game, it's the second game. It's this one. It was on the PS2. In English. It's actually a pretty rare PS2 game, though. I looked it up, it's, it's pretty pricey. The Dreamcast version is definitely the cheaper of the two. No, it's the second game. It's Cultsept Second. Uh, it's a different name. The uh, the Dreamcast version is called Cultsept Two. The one on the PS2 is called Cultsept Second. Which I, I mean, I guess you could say second for the Dreamcast version, but they are two different names. But they're uh, both the second game, obviously. <clears throat> All right, what are we doing here? Uh, let's upgrade this, I suppose. You gonna use that on me? You are. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, obviously they use it on the most powerful properties. U.S. just calls it the first game, which is weird. Yeah, they, they do that with a few different games. I think it was the Dragon Quest series, or Dragon Warrior series, Quest Warrior, whatever. They have different numbers in the U.S. because the game came out later. 
um, in the US than it did in Japan, so the numbers are different. Uh, let's see. I need to get rid of a card, so I guess I'll get rid of him. I guess he can read Japanese. You would be guessing wrong. <laughs> I cannot read one iota of Japanese. But the game's easy enough to navigate once you figure things out. Alright, I don't have anything I want to put down here. Well, I guess I'll put down the water creature, because... My uh, hand is getting quite big, so I'll have to discard next turn anyway, so I might as well put down something. make an offering. <laughs> I mean, maybe I would if I knew what it was for, but... Oh, great. Oh, wait, he's already damaged, though. Hmm. I don't want to put a fire creature on a water lot, though. And all I have is this. Um, how much is that? It's 240, jeez. I can't do it. I, I won't win. Make an offering to your god. I love how car colorful this game is. It's is quite colorful. It has a lot of colors. I never got a PAL release. Well, I wouldn't exactly call that weird. <laughs> Europe tends to not get a lot of releases. Uh, yeah, I get rid of... Uh, I can use the heal card, I guess. I don't usually use it anyway. I usually die before I take damage. Not again! Why do I keep landing on this guy? I'm just gonna pay it. Those icebergs are so difficult to defeat, because they have so much HP. Especially when the lot is upgraded. Ooh! Did I just get some cash? Sweet! Sorry, I missed the start of the stream. What's the basic objective slash gameplay of the game? It's basically Monopoly. <laughs> Monopoly with Magic of the Gathering. Uh, what's happening here? I didn't notice. You're distracting me, James. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna use that. I died. Okay. Well, that was... That was lousy. Okay. Yeah, so you, you land on the, the various squares, which are different elements, like fire, air, water, and forest. And you can put down creature cards on them, which all have their own elements as well. So, obviously, ideally, you want to put down a creature of the same element as the lot, and that will make them more powerful, give them more strength and HP. And so, like, like Monopoly, you, you get rent <laughs> when someone lands on your lot or they can try and battle your creature and take control of the lot so that's the basic premise of the game it's pretty simple you know the rules of monopoly <laughs> then uh, you can get the hang of it pretty easily or card battling games man I keep landing on squares that I have no chance of defeating. It's only 20 anyway. Whatever, I'll pay it. Make an 
offering to your God. Aim for the next fort. Wow, everyone's landing on that square. <laughs> Golem. It's like these icebergs are magnets. Like the one the Titanic hit. <laughs> Something like this would have been cool online. It is online. <laughs> well, not currently, but back in the day you could play it with up to four players online. So maybe one day... One day I might be able to battle you in this, James. <laughs> You've got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Let's do some upgrading. Alright, let's upgrade this guy. I have a lot of cash. <laughs> Give that a decent upgrade. Anyone tried to get this online yet? Not that I'm aware of, no. How many JP only games had online? A lot. <laughs> there is a list on online consoles of the online Japanese games. I think there were total across all regions, there were about 80 something games that had online play. The majority of which were Japanese exclusives. Here's the link for you. The battle was drawn. How do you know what I'm doing? How do I know what I'm doing? Um, but just by playing the game a few times, it's really not that difficult. I translated it with my phone originally. Just pointed the use uh, Google Translate and the camera functionality. You can point it at the screen and it will translate the text in real time. That helped quite a bit for the menus. And once I did that a few times and just played the game a few times, I don't really need to do it anymore because I know what everything is, or at least a lot of the stuff anyway. All right, um... I have all good cards. I don't want to get rid of anything. Fine. I'll sacrifice my Pegasus. Aim for the next hmm. He doesn't have much health. Don't particularly want to use my dragon on him, though. I'll use this guy. Should be pretty easy to beat him. Unless he's got a nice defensive card. What? How come I only did 40? Ah, uh, that... See, there are certain things that I don't understand yet. Because sometimes your creature card won't do as much damage as it's supposed to, or sometimes it does more damage than it's supposed to. The little things, little things that I haven't figured out yet. Golem. Wall of you know if someone is working on getting Speed Devils Online back online? Well, not currently. I mean, there's only one guy that's resurrecting all these games right now. That's Shuo Yuma. And uh, he only works on one game at a time. And uh, currently... Let's see, what is he working on currently? Currently, I think he's doing... his uh, Quake World port to Dreamcast. Which is basically Quake 1 enhanced for online multiplayer. There were a couple things he was uh, he was going to work on, but I think that's what he's focusing on right now. 
that and maybe out trigger. He'll probably, uh, see, usually what he does is he, he looks at a few games and evaluates which one is going to be easiest to bring back online. And I don't know if he's made his decision yet. I mean, Quake World already works. I've tested it with him. Uh, but I, you know, I guess he's doing some other things to it. Uh, let's see. Do that. Although that's a water creature on a forest lot, so... I can always change the property type. do I have? I have 434 mana. Wait, he's not a fire creature. He's forest. Uh, let me... I can change this lot, though. Which option was it? Uh, hold on. Oh, wait, maybe I can't do that right now. That's weird. It's disabled. Well, never mind, then. Actually, you could have him jump over here, but no way he's going to win that. Okay, for now, I'm not going to do anything. So basically, Shu figures out ways to reverse engineer games online servers or write his own. Well, those two things would be the same thing. <laughs> reverse engineering is writing your own. Well, I mean, I guess technically you're copying, but <laughs> but you are writing it from scratch. You've got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Discard your card. Make an offering to your god. Okay, um, sometimes it'll let you upgrade other lots other than the one you landed on, but not this time, I guess. Again, there are little things that I still don't understand. Okay, we are gonna upgrade this guy. That's the anti-element spell. Basically removes the the benefits that that creature would get by being on its own lot type. That's quite annoying. <laughs> Again, when it's used on yourself. sure how close anyone is to winning at this point. I'm doing a lot better than I did in previous rounds. Oh, this is me. Okay. Let me use armor, I guess. He's gonna... Oh, he transformed into a rat? Oh! That must be what that is. The amber has a mosquito in it. So, if you've ever seen Jurassic Park, you know that the mosquito... It supposedly contains DNA of whatever creature that it sucked the blood from. 
So in this case, I guess uh, the amber has a chance to turn into a rat or a dinosaur. So I've only ever seen it turn into a dinosaur, so, so the rat's new to me. Okay, I can't do anything with this. Oh, I can swap them out, though. I don't know if I have anything I want to swap them out with, though. Oh, yeah, I do. See, I can't upgrade him. Cannot upgrade him. <laughs> so, if I swap him out with something else, I should be able to. Should remove the negative effect. Oh, nice. I'm not sure what my total is. I need to check. Maybe I'm actually winning this round. You never know. I have 4,300. That's not bad. Okay, I'm second place at the moment, but I definitely have a chance. If I can win this, I'll be very happy. It's been a long struggle. <laughs> All right, let's do some upgrades. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna upgrade this guy. Yeah, the 3DS game is, I think, the only other version of this that came out in English. Every other game that came out was all Japan only. I guess the game just never caught on outside of Japan. I don't know why, it's a fun game. I like it. I was always addicted to Monopoly on the Game Boy back in the day, so... So I love this. I'm a big fan of Monopoly. So, if you like Monopoly and card battling games, this is going to be right up your alley. You've got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Ooh, nice. I have a decent amount of properties. Ooh! She just paid me 720. She's gonna have to start selling some stuff. Nice. Ooh, I might win this. I think I just pulled into the lead. Ooh, the feast. See, the feast is interesting. It, it gives everyone mana. I mean, everyone loves a feast, I guess. But, I don't know, everyone gets free mana. Which is interesting. It's the only spell that I like, or that the uh, enemy can use that I like. I will use that. Shatter. What can we shatter? I will shatter your spear, sir. Aim for the next fort. Oh, I am doing so good. I have 1600. I can do some major upgrades. Alright, so he's heading this way. That's my best lot. Probably this guy, but he is poisoned. So... I don't know. I'd probably rather upgrade him, because... At least I'll have two in a row. Sweet. So that lot is maxed out now. At least I think it is. Pretty sure that was the max. You can upgrade each lot to level five, I believe. Good luck for your next journey. Right. 
Ooh. You don't stand a chance, sir. Um, I have no items to use, so hopefully he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, I don't have any upgrades. Because he's not on the right lot type. So I lose. Shoot. How long does the game typically last? Well, there really isn't a typical length. I mean, this one lasts longer than normal because I'm playing against two different CPU players instead of just one. So this one can last quite a while. But I'd say it can be anywhere from 20 minutes to... I'd say it probably get up to an hour. <laughs> I mean, this one's been going for a while now. And I imagine, if you're gonna be playing with a full four players, that would uh, take quite a while. Ooh, I'm over 6,000. I think this round requires more mana than usual, though. Because normally you need 6,000 mana to win. And this one seems to require a bit more. Maybe it's seven or 8,000. Uh, let's see. I want to get rid of probably the tornado. Aim for the next port. Hmm. Uh, okay, um... I think I might just pay this. Because that is a pretty strong lot. Says he only has 20, but he's upgraded to level 3, I think. You know what? I'm gonna use my bandit. Because, even if I lose... I think I, st I still need to survive, though. If I lose, or if I survive, the bandit will steal money from him. Oh! I won? Oh, I was not expecting to win. Oh, that's even better. He actually paid me instead of him paying me. Er... <laughs> Yeah, that, that makes sense. He paid me instead of me paying him. Used to play Monopoly on the PS1 a bit when I was a kid. I always liked Monopoly, but had nobody play against, so the video game was perfect. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same with me. I never really played the board game all that much. A few times. But Monopoly on the Game Boy is what I played the most. I used to play that constantly. <laughs> I just liked draining the CPU player of all his money. That was my thing. I never wanted the game to end. I would even give him great deals on property trades just to keep him in the game longer. I just wanted to drain him of every cent he had. <laughs> I know, it's cruel. Make an to your Cruelty against CPU players. some armor. That'll work. <laughs> Take that, you stinking phoenix. The defense was too strong. The 
defense was too strong. 960. Start selling some properties, buddy. I am wiping the floor with these guys on this round. 8,489. All I gotta do is pass the castle and I'm done. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll upgrade him just for the heck of it because I have so much cash it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I have money to spare. I'm almost up to 9,000. 9,000 power. <laughs> Aim for the next port. Amber Mosquito. Yeah, you guys can just battle it out. That's fine. I'm just heading to the castle. Claim my victory. Wow, even the dinosaur couldn't beat the iceberg. Not even God can sink this iceberg. <laughs> you don't have enough magic power. Almost there. Feel free to cast that spell on me if you want. She's gonna use it on me, I know it. Why the heck would you use it on that lot? She used it on one of my worst lots. Unless you only- maybe you can only use the drought on level 1 lots. That would make more sense, I suppose. Because it prevents you from upgrading them. Discard this guy, I guess. One. Of course, I landed on the stinking iceberg. <laughs> he is down on health, though. Not by much, though. I'm just gonna pay it. Whatever. I have plenty. Consider it a, a charitable donation. Good luck to your next journey. Discard your card. Aim for the castle. You've got a reward. Should be good from here on out. Because the iceberg is definitely the most expensive lot up up to the castle. Heck, I'll put something down. <laughs> Every property counts towards my total anyway, so... Yeah, see, so that put me over 9,000. Come on, speed it up. Just need one more roll. One more roll. And you losers can go home. Oh, I got the drop card. I'm not gonna use it though. I am just gonna roll and win. Come on. I am the winner. Finally. Oh man. It's been torture playing this six or more times in a row just to beat this. <laughs> Finally! So happy. It's a whole bunch of storyline going on here. I'm not gonna bother reading it though. The true winner sure it's something determined. along the lines of we win, we are awesome. <laughs> or depending on who's talking of course. You know.
We lose, we win. Either way. Look at all that gold. 9,600. I love how it gives you a nice... a chart at the end of each game. Showing how well you've done. Wonder if I can export this to Excel. Make a spreadsheet. <laughs> nice. Such cool artwork in this game. Look at all my new cards. Any super rares? Looks like some sort of witch. Spooky. 2030. That is Medusa? Looks like Medusa. 3030. Wonder if you can actually turn people into stone. That would be cool. That is, uh... I forget what you call that guy. The half goat, half boy thing. 3040. Ooh, a gremlin! Ooh, I like that artwork. That's cool. 2030. Yeah, some decent cards. Some spell cards here. That looks like some giant explosion with a demon coming out of it. That's cool. <laughs> Don't know what that is. I will figure out what these cards are later. Take a look at them on the well on the website. So you can build decks and stuff? Yes, you can. I'll show you my deck real quick here before I end the stream. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> I don't know why they bother with storylines in these things. I don't care. I'm just here to battle with cards. And dominate. Dominate the card battling world. Yeah, so uh, third option down here. Yeah, so here's your here are your decks. You can make more than one. I only have one at the moment. So this is mine. So you have a bunch of different categories. You can sort through them by elements. Or by type, or you can just look at your new cards here. And this shows all the cards you have in your deck. So you can click on a card and uh, change how many you have in your deck. It says up top how many you have which is 50 at the moment. That's the max you can have in a deck is 50. So if you add a card, you need to remove a card. Like that. And this is, I believe, all of the cards in the game. So it shows a bunch of empty slots for the cards that you don't have yet, which is pretty cool. It shows your status. So yeah, yeah, that's the deck manager. So anyway, guys, I finally beat that level. I'm so happy. <laughs> and I did it on stream, which is even better. So yeah, this has been uh, Cult Sep 2. I like this game. I like this game a lot. <laughs> Highly recommend picking this up. Like I said, it, it's a really cheap game. It's about uh, 10, 10 bucks on eBay. At most, you could probably find it even cheaper than that. But yeah, it's a fun game. If you like Monopoly card battling games, this is a, a mishmash of the two. And it's a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back on Friday, as usual, for some Worms World Party. So yeah, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.